We're in today with the GT140. This is a 2009 video card with 64 shaders. It's got 512 megabytes of VRAM GDDR3, 256 bits bus with DirectX 10 support, running at 650 megahertz on the core clock with 900 megahertz on the memory clock. I'm gonna pair it up with this Intel Xeon W3690 with six cores and 12 threads. I'm gonna see how it's running their setup in a couple of games. Let's jump in. If you do want to play with this uh, video card, you have to start on games like uh, Counter-Strike in order to get uh, the best performance here. You can actually see that the video card is around 30-40% load on the core, utilizing only 0.4 gig of VRAM, and uh, it's not stress, seriously. You can actually see that the fan is on 35% and 56 degrees. I mean, easy game for this uh, video card. In this situation, you can actually see that uh, you got good averages, uh, 50, 70 FPS on minimal and 91 FPS on 1%. Considering the age of the video card, considering what games I want to play on it, this is very important because if you put the right games, the GPU can actually do the job. And in this case, you can actually see it's uh, quite entertaining even today to play Counter-Strike. No G1, you know, but it's working on this video card. It's an old video card, but it still does the job. This video card's got new thermal pace, 57 uh, degrees you can actually see, and 35% uh, load on the fan. Very squeaky fan, but it's doing the job. And in this case, I really appreciate how this game is working with this video card, considering it's not loading the core at maximum. Team Fortress apparently on 1080p is doing a fantastic job. Let's see how it's working with this. Got maximum core load on the video card, 62 degrees. I had to put the fan on maximum. It's doing... Uh, Kind of interesting, you know, 62 degrees, uh, 0.4 gig of VRAM used. I will say this is a great experience, you know, for this from this uh, system and this GPU. 6.1 gig of system RAM here. Look at that, 20% load on the CPU. Not that bad. I want to see how the CPU is holding. How is doing? 4,000 megahertz. Oh, looks fantastic. There's only a couple of threads here that are. Uh, reaching maximum but in a team fight we're gonna see how it's holding all right how it's doing in a team fight 60 fps on average 12 minimals 44 or 1 percent all right so in a team fight it's actually being loaded properly that's the only thing i can say if you can put it in a team fight then that's it you're golden come on i don't want to die no 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 ah, come here i'll burn you all <laughs> yeah that's the one still holds around 100 fps but uh, the difference between team fight and uh, loading time it's uh, quite uh, big because uh, you can actually see 11 on minimals i don't like those numbers seriously but in a game like modern warfare 3 apparently the game it's uh, taking care of this uh, gpu with low details in the game we uh, uh, the well, it's working, you know, in Modern Warfare 3, you can actually do the job. The video card is not being utilized uh, at maximum. You can actually see 30% uh, only on the core maximum. I, I will say this is exactly what you can do with this. No, 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 no. Seriously, the video card is doing a fantastic job. 48 degrees, 49. I mean, the fan is on maximum. I can't say nothing about this, but it's low details. With this occasion, you can actually you can actually play put the video card on maximum details considering it's only 20 30 percent load on the video card seriously with 0.3 gig of uh, vram but i just wanted to show you how it's working with low details because uh, i want uh, the maximum fps for this video card in this case it's it is on maximum fps but i only got uh, oh, only got seven uh, fps on minimal what do you think all right Left 4 Dead, look at this, hundreds of FPS, maximum core load, 96% load on the core. Well, he's doing a fantastic job, this video card, in order to push this 100 FPS, but I don't have uh, good minimals, only 1% only, uh, is 78, that's actually good. But the MS is doing fantastic, so I can't complain here. 0.2 gig of VRAM use, maximum core load, the system is not being stressed here, only with 4.9 gig of system RAM, 20% load on the core. There's any threads here that are reaching maximum, maximum, a couple of them they are reaching maximum, but uh, that's not a problem. So on the GPU side, yeah, you can actually see that uh, only the core is maxed out here. So I really like how it's working in Left 4 Dead, seriously. If you had a faster core, I think it would have been much better. What the f is that, seriously? But in Paladins on 1080p with low details with 100% render scale, you can actually see that it's uh, kind of working, seriously. Look at this. It's... Uh, 
it's not utilizing the VRAM at maximum, but it's doing a fantastic job uh, on the core, you know, 80-90% load on the core, and uh, yeah, it's kind of maxed out here. I'm not gonna lie, it's very interesting to see this type of performance. I really like how this configuration is working in Paladins. I got good minimals, 44 minimals and 76.1%. Uh, the overall performance is great, you know, but uh, yeah, the only problem is the core. I mean, it's not a problem because it's giving me 100 and over 100 FPS on average. And I will say this is a good... Uh, Thing to have on the CPU side you can actually see there is some load on the CPU there's a couple of threads that are being uh, pushed to the maximum 6.1 gig of uh, system RAM it's used here in order to deliver this performance 61 degrees on the CPU the CPU is doing nice and 6.1 gig of system RAM kind of cool here to see this uh, performance but if you want to play something more um, appropriate for the video card fallout but in this case i put on 720p with ultra details look how it's doing seriously 50 nearly 60 fps i mean if you move uh, and you start doing something it starts to lag but <laughs> I, I i literally thought it would be a maximum uh, fps and in this case you with 720p on ultra you can actually see that the video card uh, is being used on the core i like the performance here i'm not gonna lie it's doing a fantastic job overall with the with the system i got maximum fan speed on this uh, video card 58 degrees on the core for 0.4 gig uh, of uh, VRAM being utilized here in this case with maximum details the game looks fantastic so I had to put uh, 720p in order to start the game because on 1080p I had any put some problems and it keep uh, turning black screen and I had to restart the computer even in this case the CPU is not being stressed uh, there's a couple of threads that are reaching maximum but that's it you know because of the restart i had uh, i forgot to put uh, throttle stop and i got 3.6 gig on the frequency on the cpu but uh, there is no uh, stress on the threads there's no stress on the on the course so maybe in the in the next game i have to put uh, the cpu on maximum but in a game like galaxy on fire you can actually play the game with uh, 60 fps on average it's utilizing 20 30 percent load on the gpu core but i put it on 1080p with low details i'm 100 percent sure it will uh, be able to put even more details but you have to adjust it yourself i just wanted to show you how low is the load on this video card in order to uh, have a decent uh, gameplay so in this case you can actually see the 60 62 f uh, fps on uh, in the game it's uh, it's a fantastic performance from the video card and the system itself and is not utilizing the core 49 degrees with uh, maximum fan speed because i wanted to keep the gpu cool got new thermal paste and stuff like that overall the performance in this game is great there is no problem on uh, playing the game with an old video card like this you just have to put uh, the right games in this situation you know in uh, in the cpu side look at this there's a, barely any load on the CPU. There's a couple of threads here that are reaching maximum. I'm guessing this is more like a single core uh, game, but uh, it doesn't matter because if you have uh, a decent uh, computer, you will be able to play it. If you jump in uh, GTR Evolution, apparently with 720p, with medium details, you will get over 200 FPS. And I really like this performance. Seriously, this is the right way to play this game. Maximum code load on the video card, but it's delivering 200 FPS. And in this case, you can actually see that you get good minimas, 43 minimas, 131 FPS on uh, 1%. And only 0.3 gig of uh, VRAN is utilized to deliver this uh, performance. I'm very impressed on this video card, seriously. 60 FPS or 100 FPS, it's enough and it will be even uh, better for the core of the GPU. No need to stress the video card in order to get this amount of FPS that you don't need, actually. It does show you how this uh, video card is performing. 720p, I think, is the ideal resolution for this video card. I don't need to stress uh, this video card too much because it creates so many problems. But yeah, on average, you can actually see that the video card is delivering the right FPS in the game. But in Euro Truck Simulator, you can actually see I get a nice FPS overall. Definitely the right attitude when it comes to gaming. Look at this. Only 20% load on the video card. 0.2 gig of VRAM used. I mean, the game is on 720p with uh, fairly high details. That's the, that's the best thing I can say, seriously. High details with 60 FPS. I mean, the game is doing a fantastic job overall, but uh, 
I think if you want to play uh, other games, you can do it, but uh, you need to choose the right resolution. In here, with this uh, 140, with uh, high details on 720p, the FPS is good. There is no problem on delivering the performance, barely any stress on the core. So 51 degrees on the GPU. So I will say this is the right FPS for this. Seriously, look at this. Overall performance in uh, this Euro Truck Simulator is fantastic with uh, this system. But in World of Tanks on 1080p with this video card, with uh, minimal details, you can actually see I have a playable FPS. I will say this is the, the right game if you want to play some games online. You know, on 1080p, you, you can see that the core is maxed out and uh, yeah, in sniper mode, it's apparently it's uh, lowering the FPS to around 40. I will say it's not the ideal numbers, you know, for this uh, game, but it's working. And I will say an overall performance is good. On the video card, you can actually see in some cases it's uh, maxing out. So uh, the temperature is going to be around 62 with uh, maximum fan speed. The VRAM is not utilized, so actually good on this uh, perspective. I think you can lower the resolution in order to get uh, better FPS and uh, put more details if you're interested. On the system side, you can use 5.8 uh, gig of uh, system RAM in order to play the game properly with hundreds of FPS, so you don't need uh, 16 gigs in order to uh, push this performance. On the CPU side, we're gonna take a look and see how the trades are. There's a couple of trades that are being maxed out, so can't complain there, you know, it's, uh, it's being utilized. And uh, in this case, the whole uh, CPU, it's uh, doing a fantastic job. Maybe four gig uh, will have helped a little, you know, in this case, but I don't know how much. It's uh, very important to not stress the hardware if you have the opportunity. If I wanted to play it, for instance, uh, World of Tanks with uh, uh, this uh, system, and I seen that the CPU is being utilized and all of the cores are passing half, I would have went and put uh, four gig on the, on the cores. That's my uh, opinion in this case. Can't complain, it's a video card, GT140. I mean 140, 100 cities from NVIDIA. The only thing it's important is to realize that they need to be cheap, that's it. This video card can do the job, it's got half a gig of VRAM, GZR3, 256 bits bus width, but uh, overall I'm not suggesting because the fan is super small and uh, it's very squeaky and it's getting hot in, in some cases, but not that hot. It's efficient, but not efficient at the same time. It's a weird balance on this video card. I think this is an MSI, if I'm not mistaken, but it's a good video card, you know. If you can find one cheap, it's worth it. If not, doesn't matter. Don't don't bother because I'm 100% sure the 200 series will actually do the job better. Regardless, if you find the benchmark useful, if you find it entertaining, make sure you leave a like. And if you have any suggestion for this uh, 100 series video card GT140, leave a comment. And uh, I will see you very soon.